Today on Ortho 2, we are going to be talking about Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus was a terrifying placoderm fish from the late Devonian. It existed so long ago that life was just getting its start on land. It had very unique features not seen on Earth today. Before we talk about this amazing brute, let's talk about its evolution first. Dunkleosteus was a placoderm. Placodermy is a class of armored prehistoric fish which lived from the Silurian to the end of the Devonian period. About 430 to 358 million years ago. They were very unique in a few ways. Their head and thorax were covered by articulated armor plates and the rest of the body was scaled or naked, depending on the species. Placoderms were among the first jawed fish. Their jaws likely evolved from the first of their gill arches. Placoderms are thought to be paraphyletic, consisting of several distinct outgroups or sister taxa to all living jawed vertebrates, which originated from their ranks. This means that placoderms are likely the ancestors of everything from dinosaurs to people. This is illustrated by a 419 million year old fossil, Entelognathus, from China. It is the only known placoderm with a type of bony jaw like that is found in modern bony fishes. This includes a dentary bone, which is found in humans and other tetrapods. The jaws in other placoderms were simplified and consisting of a single bone. Placoderms were also the first fish to develop pelvic fins, the precursor to hind limbs in tetrapods as well as true teeth. Another thing to note about these true teeth is that they actually evolved from scales. So next time you brush your teeth, you should know that you're really just brushing modified scales. This is why the Devonian and other periods around this time are so interesting. They show us how fundamental traits of life on Earth came to be. Placodermy was a really diverse order which controlled much of the ecosystem at the time. It consisted of armored predators of all sizes and even a giant whale-like filter feeder. But today we are going to be talking about the biggest and deadliest predator of the time, Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus is an extinct genus of anthrodire placoderm fish that existed during the late Devonian period about 358 to 382 million years ago. The name Dunkleosteus combines the Greek osteon meaning bone and dunkel in honor of David Dunkel of the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. It consists of about 10 species, some of which are the largest placoderms to have ever lived. Species D. Torelli grew up to 8.79 meters or 28.8 feet. It also weighed 4 tons or 4.4 short tons. If you have visited a museum in your area, there's a chance you have gotten to see the fossilized arm or plates of this beast. I remember looking at one of these as a child and realizing I had absolutely no idea about the history of life on this planet. Dunkleosteus had a two-part bony, armored exterior. This was similar to other mammals of its time, but still so weird. The hard bony texture would have helped protect it against other animals of the time. But what would mess with a Dunkleosteus? The answer is other Dunkleosteus. Bite marks have been found on fossilized armored plates. These bites don't seem to be randomly placed either. In some fossils, there are several gouges across the bone ending in a big fracture the result of an attacker biting numerous times until the victim's armor finally cracked. And these marks were often found near the joints or gaps in the armor, particularly on the weak points towards the back of the skull. It was a dog-eat-dog -dog world for Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus did not technically have true teeth. Rather, it used sharp bony plates which formed a beak-like structure. This structure would have been self-sharpening. In the ocean, it would have rubbed these plates together to make them sharper. On this beak, it possessed very scary looking fang-like features. It was found that it could open these jaws very fast, and bite down with an enormous force of 6,000 newtons, and at the tip of the fangs, it would be able to generate over 7,000 newtons. It had a very unique way of opening its jaws which provided a lot of speed. The opening of the mouth would have taken 20 milliseconds, and the whole process of opening and closing would have only taken 50 milliseconds. This would have created a significant suction to pull prey into its mouth. Its bite force was still less than a great white shark, but nevertheless powerful. Though it is cool to think of Dunkleosteus swimming around with a horrid beak, it probably had lips covering its beak. 
Many fish, like piranhas and great white sharks, do not have their teeth showing when their mouths are closed. Though placoderms are a slightly different story, it is likely they had some type of covering over their teeth. It was found that juveniles were born with very strong jaws, basically proportional to their older, mature selves. They would have used these jaws to mainly attack soft-bodied organisms, but hard-bodied organisms could have also been a target. It is also possible that Dunkleosteus gave live birth. A fossil of a closely related placoderm that was found showed a young embryotic skeleton inside of an adult. The fossil was found of a closely related placoderm to Dunkleosteus, and it was older. So there's a good chance that not only Dunkleosteus gave live birth, but basically all placoderms gave live birth. Mature Dunkleosteus preyed mainly on other fish and ammonites. They lived in the open sea all around the world. Juveniles lived in shallower areas and fed on softer animals. When they grew up, they could swim wherever they wanted. Dunkleosteus is one of my favorite prehistoric animals. Top 10 for sure. So old and so interesting. The T-Rex of its time. Thanks for watching. It would be very nice if you could subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of other videos about ancient life and history. So, anyways, this has been your host, Northo2, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Distinct Dunkleosteus was technically a fish, so you might be able to accurately describe it as a...